Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to test a product to see if it's really worth it or not and it is from the company Wink and it is called the Cat Eye Eye Makeup Tutorial. Yay! These two little tools are supposed to help us get that perfect cat eye that we have always wanted on our lids. So if you're ready then I'm ready. So let's get started. Okay, so we are going to test out these cat line stencils from Wink um, to see if we can get that perfect cat eye slashed wing liner whatnot. You know I've been on the hunt lately of trying to find that tool that will assist me in getting that perfect wing because sometimes I can't freehand it really well and I don't like using tape all that often. So yeah, I already tried the vamp stamp. So far that's been the best contender. And then I tried those god awful uh, quick cut tape strips. Those were a nightmare. Um, so, in my never ending quest to find something to help me obtain the perfect cat eye winged liner, I turned to the Hush app. And this is what I came across. Um, I guess we can go ahead and just bust this open. Um, if you're wondering what's going on with my makeup lately, I have been doing this like this simple looks or whatnot. I know my lipstick does not match my eye color or my eyeshadow, but I like this lipstick. <laughs> and it's been sitting in my drawer and I've been wanting to try it out. And please pardon the foundation. I am testing out a new foundation and I know already I don't like it. This is like my third time I've used it. So, yeah. All right. So these are the stencils they're like a plasticky stencil they're really flimsy they're not really they kind of remind me of like of like stencils you use for like scrapbooking and stuff that's what it reminds me of so you get two different ones it says it has 10 shapes of eye makeup why do they keep calling it eye makeup okay so you get five for this one and five in this one it says instructions the cat line tutorial is very suitable for a beginner of eye makeup and you could choose a shape to match your oh god i gotta show you all this to match your eye shape which could show the charming of eye makeup then owing a natural and pretty eyeliner warm tip what did this, where did this come from warm tips keep the hand stable when drawing the eye makeup to avoid drawing again okay let me show y'all this where is it at look at the way they spelled match <laughs> and what is a warm tip <laughs> what is that what the world and what is this then owing Okay, this isn't really comforting me right now. <laughs> oh, wow. I like how it says how to draw an eye with a cat line. What is this? Oh, my God. <laughs> I am, like, so scared to use this. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God, I got to get myself under control. All right, so I'm going to use two different types of liners. I'm going to use a liquid liner, a liquid liner pen. I'm going to use my trusty Soap and Glory Super Cat, go figure, <laughs> Super Cat liner for one eye. And then the other eye, I'm going to use the Pretty Vulgar, the ink black, uh, the ink gel liner in Blacklist. I'm losing it. I'm so like... I don't know. This card just gave me the giggles and I'm just kind of like, yeah. Okay. So for this one right here, okay, you have one right here, which looks like it's its standard um, regular wing. Then you have two, which is right here. Okay. So this is for the left eye. No, this is for the right eye. I don't know. Yeah. This one, number one's for the right eye. Number two is for the left eye. 
Number three is for the waterline. What? Okay, number four, which is this right here, is to help you cut your crease. Or actually, it just goes like right there. And then number five, which is this one, is to help cut your crease. That's a pretty damn big cut crease. What the F? Maybe if you're doing like a graphic liner or whatnot. I just want to see if this can help me get like the simplest wing out there. Which, oh, look, it already took my makeup off. Fail. So, all right. Let's go ahead and use this one for the right eye. And then we'll use this little fatty one for the left eye. I don't know how that's going to work, but we shall see. All right. Let's go ahead and use the pretty vulgar for the right eye. And this liner is very, very creamy, so please be cautious when using it. All right, so I guess we're going to go with number one. Okay. It says just a, well, the diagram just says just put it right here. All right. And I'm just filling this in. That's a lot. Oh, this is a pain in my ass. Sorry, I had to say that. It's messing up my, my pretty pink. My pretty pink uh, eye makeup. I will say this liner is pigmented as crap. Huh. That is not too bad. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna clean this up. Now see, my biggest issue with trying to do a wing liner is that I have very bad wrinkles on my lids. So With that being said, this actually doesn't look too bad when my eye is open. However, when my eye is closed, and I know I can bring it down some. However, when my eye is closed, this is what it looks like. Yeah, not a pretty picture. And I don't want to pull on it to fill this in because that's just going to make those wrinkles worse but it actually looks really good I just don't like the thickness of it so because with me having hooded eyes all you're going to see is my liner and I don't want that unless I'm going for that type of look but other than that I think it looks really good I could probably use it to like at least draw this part out this the wing part out and then I can fix it to how I want it but that actually didn't do too bad I'm pretty impressed hmm I'm pretty impressed with that so that's actually really good I wonder if I use number two if I had used number two it would make it smaller I don't know probably because it looks like I could put number two closer to my actual eye but that that really shocked me it does take off your eye it does take off your face makeup though so if you're like me and you put your face makeup on first 
I wouldn't recommend it if you're going to use this. Hmm. That is not too bad. I mean, it's messy. I'll have to clean it up. This is a product that if I do use it, I'm going to have to do my eye makeup first before I do my face makeup because then I'm going to have to do a lot of cleaning up. But I'm actually pretty impressed. But see what I mean? All you see is black. You really don't see anything else on my lid because I have hooded eyes. So I would have to play with it around some more, but that that's shocking. That's really cool. All right. Now, let's try this other one. Let's see what this one's going to give me. Okay. All right. So, number six, supposedly, you can use it on this side, and it's supposed to, like, I don't know what it's supposed to do. Actually, this one's for the right. Number six is for the right eye. You put it like this and it gives you like a little flick. Number seven is for the right eye. Where's number seven? Number seven is right here. Oh, Lord. And I guess you hold it like this. It's kind of, I don't know. These are like weird. Okay, they have number 7 and number 10 mixed up on this card. Are, are you for real? For real? Number 7, you put just like this, and it's going to give you more of like a curvier line. Um, yeah. Let's do number 8. Number nine, you're supposed to hold like this. I don't know. Let's go ahead and do number eight. Mm, that's not going to work. This is crazy. I don't like how they have this. All right, let's try out number 10. Let's just do number 10. What the hell? Or we'll do number seven. I don't know. It, the way they have this numbered is not right. Ooh, number 10 would look funky. All right, let's do number seven. Uh, it is very hard to get this lined up on my left eye. Why I thought this was a good idea, I have no idea. I'll be right back. You know what? We're going to ditch this because I don't see this one working very well. So let's go back to the skinny cat and let's go ahead and try number two and see what we get. My lashes are in the way. My lashes are so long. Oh, come on. It's hard to keep it down. I mean, I don't even feel anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, Melissa, that is awesome. This, however, was a fail. So I'm going to try number one. Let's see what we get. I don't think this is going to be right. Okay. So, whoa, as far as the left eye, oh, I need to clean this up. I'll be right back. Okay, it looks a little jacked up, but I don't mind right now because we're just testing this out. Okay, where's my eyeliner? I'm going to take number one. I'm, I turned it upside down. I want to take my Super Cat liner. It's probably going to end up looking like this, like the same one, but I want to see how it works with a liquid liner. This is hard to hold down. That's the problem, is actually holding it down. Well, the see, that came out fine. 
the actual end comes out fine, which I think that's probably, if I do use this, that's what I'll use it for, is actually like starting my wing. See, that's my issue right there is that. But overall, I think once you get used to this product, it's actually really good. There, we're just going to keep it like that. Well, we're just going to keep it like that for the rest of the video. I don't care. <laughs> I think once you actually get used to this product, it's pretty good. This is bothering me. See, this is my issue right here is all these wrinkles that I got going on. So, I'm just gonna... I can't see crap. Why am I using that? Please pardon this, je this janky jank wing. I'm just kinda... Yeah. I'm kinda at that point right now. All right, actually, that looks like a different type of wing than what this one does, but whatever. I think I still stand by my vamp stamp. Um, I think with a little bit more practice, you could probably get a decent wing out of these, but this card right here is the worst. I don't even know what. I don't know who made this card, but they need to stop. Um, these were three dollars. Um, they are sold out on Hush right now. I think you could probably get them on Wish or you could probably get them on Amazon. If you are looking to practice getting your wing down, maybe you could do these. In my eyes, I mean, this one looks great. This one's janky to jank, but I don't know. I think I'm still kind of fond of the vamp stamp. So I'm going to say these aren't really worth it. Um, but like I said, if you want to try them, they are sold out on Wish. I mean, on Hush, but I'm pretty sure they're on Wish. And I think you can get them on Amazon as well. So yeah, that's all that I got for you guys. As always, you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Garrett, on Snapchat as melissalea1223, and on Instagram as Melissa Garrett. Come on over. We have fun on those pages as well. I do not, however, have a Twitter account, so if you stay on with my face and this gorgeous smile, report it because it's fake. Trust me, it ain't gonna have this on there either. <laughs> Uh, also, if that subscribe button is red, it's the wrong color. You need to change it. And don't forget to share this channel out as well. And make sure that you hit that notification bell because YouTube was destined determined to make the notification bell a thing. I love you all so much and I will see you on Friday with my May favorites. Bye. Got it? Good? Cool. Jit have to be like a gymnast in order to get this to go right <laughs> i mean like for real yo <laughs> you draw a eye with cat line a eye as if we don't already have eyes and it's how to draw an eye grammar <laughs> <laughs>